Hello everyone, um, almost back to normal, she says, almost. Um, <clears throat> Pete's back at work, he's new enough halfway through his first shift back. Um, he's only going back on first return, so that's good news. Um, I am still researching other videos. The videos I was supposed to do the other week but didn't end up uploading because I had crook files. Did my head in did that? Um, <clears throat> there's no point, point in me repeating them. One of them was basically not dead that you've already had, and the other one was about the whole um, thing about not Cat Monday not vaccinating your kid. I don't agree with that. Um, I might do a video about anti vax um, the The whole reason why people think that vaccine is bad and why it's in my opinion, audible. But that's a video for another day. Um, today I'm doing two videos for this week. Um, at the minute he's on day shifts. Um, if you hear any noises in the background, it's because the windows open. I here in the UK we don't have a thing called air conditioning in normal houses, so it's bloody warm. And that's a very British way of putting it. So the windows staying open. Sorry, it's just too hot for me to close it. So if you hear traffic noises, I apologise. Um, so this video, specifically, is going to be about Logan Paul. And then the next one's going to be about time. I swear these two, between them two, on easy on and cook ass. Oh. 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 Some people test your son it, don't they? Um, I know I haven't got the normal lights and everything set up. It's A, because it's warm. B, because I need new batteries for the lights. And um, C, my head's still a bit mush because I'm still in recovery mode as well. It doesn't help that, as well as having recovery mode, I've also got Comic Con to, uh, York Comic Con to prepare for. I've got a book to get done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm busy. And then when Pete goes back on nights, I can start doing my live streams on a Sunday for you guys and then um, a couple of days a week on Twitch. Because um, doing them while he's at home isn't always the same. So, anyway. Right, back onto the topic of conversation. I didn't know about this until I watched Phil the other day. And when I found out, I was pissed. And I think you guys, if you don't already know, once I tell you, you are going to be pissed also. Everybody remembers what happened in January. Logan Paul went to Japan, completely was insensitive to the Japanese people, was throwing pokeballs at cars, and oh, he was just disrespecting the entire civilization. If he came over here and did that to the British people, he'd get told to get lost. <laughs> by the vast majority of us, I hope. However, and we all thought it was done. Done we, don't we, forget it, it's done. Turns out, not so much. He's now doing a documentary of everything that's happened over the last six months, including what happened in January. Which basically means he's going to do a documentary about what happened in January and everything else that's happened since. But he's going to do a documentary about what happened in January in the suicide forest. And I can almost guarantee he's going to monetize it in one way or another. So basically he's trying to profit of something that should never be profited over. Now, I'm one of these people that I have a lot of, I know a lot about death and I know a lot about a lot of the things that happen just before and just after death. I won't get into them now, but I know a lot about death. <clears throat> I studied it for three years at university and I've kept up on it ever since. I can decipher pretty much an autopsy report. I can do all sorts of stuff like that. 
However, if I was not employed by a specific person or asked by a specific person to do a documentary on something, I wouldn't just do it on an event that ripped, oh, that caused so many people issues. You have people, kids that saw that video that are traumatised because of it. You have adults that have kids asking them questions about death because some insensitive prick on YouTube decided to put a dead body in his video. Now, if I watch certain documentaries, I know that that's going to involve a dead body. I know, if I watch certain films or TV shows, I know that's going to involve a dead body. I don't expect to go onto YouTube, look at somebody's vlog and there's a dead body. Now, if I, if I went to an Ask a Mortician video, I would expect it to a point in that because she's a mortician. Uh, there's a guy I sometimes watch that does dissections. I'd expect it because his his channel is basically it's a learning resource for medical students, but other people can watch it as well. So I'd expect it on that. And these two people don't monetize their videos primarily because they couldn't, but they don't. Logan, granted, didn't monetize his first video. However, he didn't monetize his first video. However. There is no guarantee he's not going to he's not going to not monetize a documentary that's going to take hours to prepare it's going to take days to edit <sighs> and he's going to use something that <clears throat> now when that happened it gave all youtubers a bad name not just him all youtubers it gave all of us a bad reputation because we always get judged on the worst the ones that are in the news more the ones that are in involved in drama more the ones that are involved in scams and such more because that is more salacious it sells it sells more it sell, it puts more eyes on the topic they don't always highlight the people like Markiplier who raises money, for, who's raised millions for charity. You don't, they don't highlight Jack Setzka who's done the same. They don't highlight the people that are actually trying to change things and that are actually trying to change people's, like Ask a Mortician, where she's trying to change people's views on death entirely. And it, they don't always highlight the good people, they always highlight the bad people like Logan, Jake Paul, like Nicole Arbor and Antana and people like that that are just literally involved in scam after scam after scam. They're involved after scandal after, in, after in scandal after scandal after scandal. We all get painted by that same brush because we're all YouTubers. And while it's unfair, it's just the way things are. But the plain simple fact that this guy who absolutely ruined the reputation of a YouTuber decided, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell everybody, oh, look at me. I'm going to make this documentary. Now, if he does it from a, a point of view of he investigates suicide and he investigates the cultural behaviour around suicide, comparisons between... Uh, America, the UK, Japan and several other countries, then fine. But if it's his entire last six months, it's not just going to be a suicide video. It's not going to be a documentary on suicide per se. It's a documentary about him. So if anything, it's going to be like, I put this video up to raise awareness for this, this, this and this and everybody's gone mad at me. It's like everybody's gone mad at you because of the plain simple fact that what you've done is ruined the reputation of thousands and thousands of YouTubers. What what the bigger YouTubers do reflects on even the smallest YouTubers. And for those people like Logan Paul, like Jake Paul, they don't get that. They think, oh, it's just, you know, they're just in their own little bubble and they have all these yes men around them and then they have the dad that's literally pushing them to do more and more salacious stuff. 
and both of them were old enough and big enough to tell him to get lost. You know, is the plain simple fact that he's is even entertaining this thought is sickening to me. Um, I hope it's done in a, an appropriate manner, though I fear it won't be. Because it is Logan Paul after all. Every time I think I've stopped talking about these guys, they do something else. Oh, right. I'm gonna calm myself down before I do the next one. Um, so yeah, that's it for the Logan Paul video. I'm gonna film the Tanner video now and hopefully get them edited today. Preferably before the husband gets home. <laughs> um, but maybe after, it depends on. I think he's doing pretty well because I've not had a text message. So he isn't, so. Um, but yeah, so this will go up Wednesday. The Tanner one will go up on Friday. And then next week it'll be the same two videos. And then there is a possibility that the week after he'll go back on nights, which means I can start doing my normal routine um, of doing a live stream on Sunday, two videos and whatnot. So, with that being said, stay safe, be good, have fun, and I will see you on Friday. <laughs>